aboard the Birdman. We are here at uh, Pola Palooza in Wellington, Florida, as we welcome the Garber family, Simon, Alina, and all of his children. Now, it's quite a treat for you to be able to play polo with members of your own family, your own sons. Oh, this is amazing. You know, you dream about those days most of your life when you have those good dreams and finally see dreams become the reality. Well, now, you're fulfilling many dreams, uh, starting out growing up in Russia, your family leaving the oppressive atmosphere that was there in Russia, moving to the United States with not much, and then building from the very beginnings, the early beginnings, you've built your empire and it continues to grow. So congratulations on realizing that dream. But it seems to me that you continue to realize uh, dreams every day, every week of your life. Well, as you know, as you get older, you just get bigger dreams. Sure. So it's all about the toys, the dreams, and your family. So for me, it's a, one of those okay, fulfilling folks. days of my life. Tim Bird, the Birdman, here in Wellington, Florida. Happy to be with Simon Garber. The Garber family put on quite an event today. And when the rain started falling last night, we were all wondering what kind of day the day would be today. And everything really kind of cooperated. They drained the field, and it was playable in parts. And so we did have Polo Palooza number one. It is now officially in the books. Simon Garber, uh, welcome to Palm Beach County. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're glad to have you and your family here, and you're certainly your kindness and your uh, generosity towards uh, everybody here. But today, the recipients were the Boys and Girls Club of Palm Beach County. Uh, you know, the crowd turned out very, very nicely. The polo match was, was great fun. It was good to watch you play on the horses with your sons. And, of course, the, there's been food and festivities and your son's first birthday. Yeah, Shane's first birthday. So you have, uh, what, is it five members, five children? I have four boys and a girl, and this is number five. She has no shot. <laughs> My daughter, that's right there. Usually, usually when people say, I have three girls and one guy, people say the guy has no shot. But uh, we're very happy to have your family here. You came from Russia uh, many years ago to escape the repression there. You've worked very hard, but you had some very big dreams. And I would say that you're realizing a, a good number of them, are you not? Well, it takes time, but we're getting there. Yes. We're getting there. And, and uh, tell us about, you know, the uh, cab business that you have, because that is uh, quite the network. Yeah, we own quite a few cabs in national cab company, New York, New Orleans, Chicago, some other states, and we are very proud of it. It's one of the largest cab companies in North America, and we're growing. Obviously very successful. You're a very smart man. Now, you also happen to own two polo teams. Tell us what drew you to polo. Well, originally, I saw quite a few movies. I saw, I guess, sometimes you see a biography on TV, people doing things that you never think you'd be able to do, and challenges that Polo brings to you, speed, you know, curiosity. I really fell in love with that. I thought it was a very edgy sport, something that could be part of. Sure. And I fell in love. And so you're, the, the first horse that you bought, tell us about what that experience was like and the feeling it gave you. The first bought a horse I bought was Tamara, and uh, I guess it was for the reason of tax, tax, to save taxes originally. Yes. And but then we turned it into be a Polo horse, and then we train, and she's been with us for over 15 years. Now my kid Tyler plays it. Actually, he played today in the second checker, that horse. Well, that's, that horse has become a member of the family. She is, she is. She became a huge member. Now, you, when you came to this country from Russia, you landed in New York. And, uh, of course, I've lived in New York. That is quite an experience any time you live in that city, the world's greatest city, we like to call it. But um, certainly you're feeling a, a pull to come to Palm Beach. Tell me about... What attracted you? Oh, Palm Beach is beautiful. I mean, I even read small things about Palm Beach back in Russia being a kid. I really got to Palm Beach somewhere in 93 as a tourist, I guess. I fell in love. I thought it was very different. Little town with a lot of egos yeah. and wealth <laughs> and interesting things. And uh, slowly, I've been coming here without playing polo. When I got involved with polo, that became more attractive to me. Sure. And eventually we bought a barn in Wellington, about 10 minutes away from Palm Beach itself. And we became a member of the community. We were falling in love with people, the atmosphere, the ambience, the weather, and everything, positive and negative, it has. Well, you know, I call this the best place to live, work, and play. Would you agree with that? Well, I don't work here yet. I love living here. I love playing here. I guess you're right. Yeah. Two out of three. We'll, we'll, we'll get the work down here soon enough. I, I don't know if you want that or not. No, though. Definitely not. <laughs> I want to keep it social 
and relaxing. Yeah. No business. Definitely no business. That's great. So now, typically, how how many months out of the year will you be able to uh, to be down? We bring our horses here by end of November, Thanksgiving time, and keep them till middle of May. From May, we take them to New Orleans. We have a place there. We're going to keep them for about six weeks, a couple of tournaments, and then we come back home to Cold Snake. And we'll stay there for three months and three and a half months, and then we'll turn out the horses for October. We go to Argentina December for the U.S. Open, and then come back here. That is, uh, that's what, it, what we would call in this country a charmed life, getting to go and do the things you love to do and be where you want to be. And best of all, and most of all, with your family. That's the best. This is the best thing that possibly could happen. I love playing with my kids. And um, my polo, it keeps me oriented with my family. I see them as much as I need, as much as I want. And it's great. That's many, many parents and, and would envy that position. Now, I have a question. You said your mom, your parents obviously had a huge influence on you, but your mom had, had been a real driving force in encouraging you to be an entrepreneur. Oh, yeah. Talk to me about that, if you would, please. Well, my mother was a nurse in Russia when she came to this country. No English, couldn't get her license. As you know, you need to have a license to pass nursing. So she did some house cleaning, some other odd jobs, which were very dysfunctional jobs. And um, her dreams were always for me to get good education and hopefully to stand on my own two feet. She was my first so-called investor who lent me the first $5,000 to buy my first taxi medallion in New York back in 1985. So she was always there 100% on a big level. It sounds to me like her dream was for you to realize your dream. I guess since I have five kids, I understand her better now. Yes. Yes. yes, I'm sure you do. Well, I'll tell you what. Today was a beautiful day. The sun is out. I mean, if you look straight up in the sky, the sun is out, uh, Simon. So uh, we were very fortunate to have good weather, as it turned out, even though there was bad weather leading into it. It's a beautiful day. People are still here hanging out. We've had uh, raffle tickets we sold for the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, your son's first birthday, your beautiful wife was here and addressed the crowd earlier, and your sons all did great today on the field. We were really thrilled that there was no slipping, no injuries for the horses or the humans involved in today's polo match. Yeah, it was very safe, but it was a great day. And we're glad to have you in Palm Beach County. Welcome to the Garber family. Thank you so much. A great addition to the county. Thank you so much. I'm Tim Bird, the Birdman at Polo Palooza. Number one is now officially in the books, and we'll look forward to another one next year. Thank you.